Humans really care about what other humans think. That seems very deeply uh, wired into us. So chess uh, was one of the first like victims of AI, right? Deep Blue could be Kasparov, whenever that was a long time ago. And all of the commentators said, um, this is the end of chess. Now that a computer can beat the human, you know, no one's gonna, no one's gonna bother to watch chess again, ever. It's over, or play chess again. Chess has, I think, never been more popular than it is right now. Um, and if you like cheat with AI, that's a big deal. And no one, or almost no one, watches two AIs play each other. Um, we're like very interested in what humans do. read a book that I love, the first thing I do when I finish is like, I want to know everything about the author's life. And I want to like, feel some connection to that person that made this thing that resonated with me. Same thing for like many other products that, that humans know what other humans want very well. Humans are also very interested in other people. I think humans are gonna, we're gonna have better tools. We've had better tools before, but we're still like very focused on each other. And I admit it does feel different this time. General purpose cognition feels so close to what we all treasure about humanity that it does feel different. So of course, you know, there'll be kind of the human roles where you want another human, but even without that, I think, like when I think about my job, I'm certainly not a great AI researcher. Um, my, my, my role is to like, you know, figure out what we're gonna do, think about that, and then like work with other people to coordinate and make it happen. And I think everyone's job will look a little bit more like that. We will all operate at a little bit higher of a level of abstraction. We will all have, access to a lot more capability and we'll still like make decisions they may trend more towards curation over time but we'll make decisions about what should happen in the world the sort of open ai style of model right. is good at some things but not good at sort of like a life and death situation um but people under i think people understand tools and tool limitations of tools more than we often give them credit for. And people have found ways to make ChatGPT super useful to them and understand like what not to use it for, for the most part. So I think it's a very good sign that even at these systems, current extremely limited capability levels, much worse than what we'll have this year to say nothing of what we'll have next year. Lots of people have found ways to get value out of them and also to understand their limitations. I think humans are, pretty forgiving of other humans making mistakes, but not really at all forgiving of computers making mistakes. And so people who say things like, well, you know, self-driving cars are already safer than human-driven cars. It probably has to be safer by a factor of, I would guess like between 10 and 100 before people will accept it, maybe even more. And I think the same thing is gonna happen for other AI systems, caveated by the fact that if people know, if people are accustomed to using a tool and know it may be totally wrong, um, that's kind of okay. I think, you know, in some sense, the hardest part is when it's right 99.999% of the time and you let your guard down. Uh, I actually can't look in your brain and look at the 100 trillion synapses uh, and try to understand what's happening in each one and say, okay, I really understand why he's thinking what he's thinking. You're not a black box to me. Um, but what I can ask you to do is explain to me your reasoning. I can say, you know, you think this thing, why? And you can explain first this, then this, then there's this conclusion, then that one, and then there's this. And I can decide if that sounds reasonable to me or not. And I think our AI systems will also be able to do the same thing. They'll be able to explain to us in natural language, the steps from, from A to B, and we can decide whether we think those are good steps. Even if we're not looking into it and saying, okay, I see each connection here. And, you know, I don't get to like, I think we'll be able to do more to x-ray the brain of an AI than x-ray the brain of you and understand what those connections are.